and welcome back to part five, five of the E30 revival. And if you follow me, I'll show you what we're doing today. What we're doing today is we'll replace the two back brake calipers, and then I got myself a new fuel filter because I have no idea how old it is. And I'm trying to see if that will fix the the bogginess, I want to call it. Something like that, but the car has terrible reaction time when you go off the line. So I'm hoping it's just a clogged fuel filter. But the reason why I picked up new brake calipers because I'll show you. For the three people that actually watch my videos on my channel, um, you'll notice that when I was doing the axle in the last video in part four, this brake rotor was rusty, even though I was driving it around for a bit which means fluid wasn't getting into that caliper and it wasn't engaging. So I went to go search for it. And of course, being an old car and being a New England car, I popped the brake line. But luckily I did get it out and uh, wasn't too hard. But I did find the culprit of why fluid wasn't getting into the caliper. I guess this right here, these little lines, hold on, let's start taking it off. Get kicked up with crud and everything else. So basically that gets blocked up and then no fluid gets to your calipers. The other side does work, I've noticed, but this side, it's all kicked up. But I did order two just to replace the other side so I don't have to deal with that. So unfortunately that's not here right now. That is still in shipping. But hopefully it gets here soon. This new line that I grabbed from Advance and here's my new caliper. I did buy both of them because I noticed come over here. This this side does work, but the only downside is um, someone snapped off the bleeder screw back here and it's recessed in and I wouldn't be able to find one. So that's coming out and I'm just gonna bleed the whole system. But for the meantime, I can just replace the, um, the rear caliper and the fuel filter for now. So I get started on that. All right, let's try to break this caliper free. Nice and easy, it's just two 19 millimeter bolts in the back. And it should come right off. Should is the key word. All right, that's off. These pads still have lots of life left in them. You can see here, there's still lots of life left on these brake pads, so they're going back on. All right, got all the hardware put back on. Hopefully it'll stay in place while I install it. Well, I shall find out. All right, should be good. So I just finished bending up the brake line. As you can see, it matched it pretty, pretty good, I think. I'm hoping it'll go, go in, but good thing about these copper lines they're so easy to bend. You can do it by hand. All right, so here's the final product. Got it bent around. That's not the prettiest, but hopefully it works. So I have this side all pulled apart, right? I have the brake pads in my hand. And by looking at how worn these ones are, that, re that rear pasture brake caliper has been working for a while. I should have gotten new brake pads, but I didn't. So, oh well, 
They're going back in. All right, now I can start putting in these little rubber hoses. I should have did it before, but they finally came in from the parts store. So let's get those installed. Ooh, she's leaking. Come on, get in. There, good enough. Since apparently I don't have a wrench that fits that, vice grips will do. Let's give it a try. Ooh, got some fluid. Oh, there we go. I'll try it one more time, but I think I think it's bled. Oh yeah, that's bled. All right, on to the other side now. I don't say that's lead. Nice. If you're wondering how to bleed brakes by yourself, well, here's a fun little tip for you. Grab a piece of two by four or anything like that and hold in your hand, pump the brakes up a little bit like that. Piece of wood, put it on yeah, the brake pedal, and then stuff it on the seat like that. And then bleed the brakes. Simple as that. Worked for me, so it'll probably work for you too. Well, I finally got to the fuel filter that's down right next to the charcoal can canister, and man, did it put up quite the fight. I finally got it up covered in fuel this this fuel filter looks old old but i finally got it and i'll see if there's a date on it i'll let you guys know here's a new filter compared to the old one it's probably 20 25 years old if that maybe more but yeah i'm pretty sure i was caked up pretty good so time to put on the new one also, when I was getting to the fuel filter, I accidentally ripped this old boot. I'm pretty sure this is factory from like 1986. So unfortunately I got to order a new one, but I'm hoping this silicone will hold for now at least. Well, I got that boot and the silicone carrying right in front of the old bullet heater, but I've tried to show you guys what I've been doing here. It's kind of a difficult process. There it is in there. I'm gonna try to get that, oh, where is it? That fuel line back on, put all the hose clamps on. But to get to it, what I did, you know, move the air box, took off the reservoir for the power steering fluid, all that, disconnected that, no, disconnected that, tore the boom. That's what's drying right now. Now I'll try not to spill fuel, oh, spill fuel everywhere. Oh. All right, so I'm hoping that's plenty dry enough to install so I shall find out I'm just hoping it holds until whenever my rock auto order comes in so here we go let's install it please don't break now what did I do with that hose clamp oh well it don't matter this is coming off again pretty soon come on I'll go back on all right now since everything's all put back together I'm hoping she'll start a little bit better let's try it out So it starts, but the true test is to take for a test drive. So let's go. <laughs> I'm the only person I can work on a car and make it worse. But the reason why it's doing that, I think, is that boot is torn and it's just a big vacuum leak. So I'm hoping that'll fix it. All right, this thing. She's running bad, like real bad. Come on, come on, come on. She's dying on me. 
That rear boot is just making a massive vacuum leak right now. Come on. So, I think I'm gonna call off this drive. Uh, I'm gonna try to turn it around here. Survive that, but I wonder if the brakes work. Brakes work pretty good. There might be a little bit more air in the line, but hey, they stop. But yeah, I'm gonna park this thing. I I could barely get it down the road. Come on, as long as I can get to my parking spot. Come on. Here we go. she died but I think I'll wrap it up on this video it's getting cold should turn on the heat but if you like this video give it a thumbs up maybe think about subscribing if you already haven't and yeah I guess I'll see you on the next one later